What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And um, I had this something short I just want to tell you. I don't even know. Well, I guess you can consider a video, duh. Um, I was on my way to bed and uh, I was praying to God. And I was just thinking about something that he said in his word that stuck out to me tonight. And I wanted to share it with y'all. He was saying in his word that um, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And, um, and what he mean by that is if you love me, um, you'll do everything I ask. You'll do what's pleasing to me. You'll walk the way I told you to walk. You'll walk in my pathway. For my word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your pathway. And when you walk in obedience um, to the Lord, you're keeping his commandments because you're keeping everything that God has asked us to do in that word. And I was just thinking about that. And I was thinking because I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, God is not a liar. And if he say, you know, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Commandments. Um, if you're not keeping his commandments, you can't come and say, I love you because then I would make him a liar. You know, he's not a liar. He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. You'll keep my ways. And we know that our thoughts are, are not his thoughts. We know that our ways is not his ways. And he knows this as well. But we're striving to be Christ-like every single day. And I was um, praying. And when I pray, I always like repent you know I repent for my day things i made done and i things i said um things a thought thoughts that i had you know i asked god to you know forgive me not just of my sins but transgressions and hidden iniquities that we have in our heart you know you want to bring those before the lord as well you want to come clean with him as much as you can you know even though he's god he already knows it's it's, it's to help you our honesty towards God, it helps us because deep down in ourself and our spirit, God sees us and he knows us. And so if we honest enough to bring it forth and say, you know, here it is, it's like, it's like you hiding something, uh, uh, like a kid go, go steal a toy or something. And, um, you, you know, that child stole that toy, but you know, cause you've seen them do it. You know what I'm saying? But when you come to them, you know, and you ask them about it, you, you want to see if they're going to come to you and be honest and, and come forth with it. You know, that's kind of like how God is. We like, we know he, he knows all about us already. And so for me to be honest and come before the Lord, it's like not telling him something that he don't already know. He already know, but he's looking at my heart. He's looking at our heart. He's thinking about, you know what? Are you clean and pure? Are you honest enough? You know, yes. And I'm coming for the Lord. I'm like, Lord, I'm honest. I have this issue that's going on on the inside of me. That's deep down on the inside, Lord. And I know that don't nobody know about it, but you. And I'm letting you know that I do have this problem. You know, whatever problem it may be. It don't matter what problem it is, y'all. It's just the fact that you brung it forth and you was honest about it. And he sees that. And so when he see that you're honest, he know that you really want help. He know that you're just not giving him no lip service. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of us give lip service. He said, you, you give this lip service, but your heart is far from me. Your heart is far from me. It's just lip service. You're just talking to be talking. But God knows when you are serious with him. He knows when you really want to be helped. And that's why I search myself daily. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But at the same time, I'm transparent as I can be. And what I'm saying is when I know that there's something down on the inside of me that I know it's not right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it to God and let God fix it because he's the only one who can fix that thing. He's the only one who can judge you. He's the only one who knows you. He knows you. I'm so glad that God, he looks way beyond our faults and he sees our needs. He sees the motive behind. You know, people look at what you did, but God look at why you did it. You know what I'm saying? Why did you do that? You know what I'm saying? What caused you to do that? He see a pain and a hurt that's there down the inside of you, a deep seated pain that may have caused you to hurt somebody. He knows, he knows why you did it. But like I said, we look at, you know, you did this to me and you did that. You know, that's why God say forgive because you never know what somebody going through or what, or what, uh, uh, it's so true when they say hurt people, hurt people. That's so true because you you are hurt on the inside. You hurting others because you hurt. And sometimes we hurt people and we don't even realize that we hurt. We just walk around with this, this anchor of bitterness in us, you know. And it's like when you want help from it, you bring it to the Lord.
You know what I'm saying? Instead of harboring it and saying, nothing wrong with me, I ain't got no problem. I, I don't need no counseling. I'm not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't need to go talk to nobody. I'm good. I just want people to leave me alone. You know, that's in denial. You know what I'm saying? But when you be like, you know what? Something is wrong with me. I am hurting down on the inside. This person said this to me. It did hurt me. And I'm angry about it. And I'm bitter about it. And Lord, I need your help because I don't want to walk around feeling like this. Because you said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And one of your commandments was that we love our enemies. The ones that despitefully use us. Pray for them that, that come against us. You know, that's what God is saying. And I just, I, I just, I just had that in my heart to tell y'all as I was praying. It was like, I, I need to come and share that because it's on my heart to, you know, for the wages of sin, y'all, is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And my thing is this. I want eternal life. So, therefore, I'm, I'm going to cancel out them wages of sins, the things that we do daily, some things we know that we're doing. It's, it's not always an anger problem, y'all. Oh, come on, we need to deal with some stuff. A lot of us are single women. We uh, have lust issues. But single men and women, come on, keeping it real. You know, we have lust issues because, you know, uh, uh, we're not married. And, you know, and God said, you know, so is a man thinketh, so is he. You know, just as much as you thought it in your heart, you've already done it. So you could be laying up here thinking about some stuff, boy, and be having your body on pleasure mode, okay? And then, you know, before you know it, you know, hey, you be done went there in your mind. You know, but it's just as though as you, you done it, just to think on it, it, it's in your heart. That means you done it. God's word said this. I'm not saying this. You know what I'm saying? God is not no liar. He said, if you already, if you had that thing in your heart and you, and you thought about that and pictured that in your heart, it's as though you have done it. He is not a liar. That's what his word says. And so we always want to come clean when it comes to stuff like that. We always want to, you know, think about. You know, what would the Lord, I know the Lord watching me. If that can help you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling y'all nothing I don't go through. I'm not telling y'all nothing I'm not going through. It's like, I need to do this for myself when I be having issues like that. You know what I'm saying? Because even though I'm, I'm approaching, you know, 50, I'm two years from it. But I'm still, I'm still that young where I'm, 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 I'm a need of a man. Where we all have those needs. You know what I'm saying? God put that down on the inside of us. You know what I'm saying? We are, was here to multiply. So if you feel in some type of way, of course you're going to feel like that. That's nature. But it's what you take and do with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's when it becomes wrong. Of course it's in our nature to want uh, to be loved by a man. Of course that's in our nature to, for a guy to want to be loved by a woman. But it's just the fact that how he going to do that thing. Are you going to do it the right way, the way God say do it? Or are you going to do it your own natural sinful way? And that's when the wages of sin come in at. Where the wages of sin is death. And I think about that scripture and I'm like the wages of sin is death. Like I'm going to go ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fulfill my lust. The lust of my flesh and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this thing because I want that pleasure but why lose your soul for a few moments of pleasure y'all it's not worth it that's what he mean the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life and follow the gift that he has given you he has given you that gift of the Holy Ghost he has given you that gift of discernment he has given you that gift of prayer he has given you that gift of healing and many more other gifts that God has to walk in his gift, to walk in the gift of life. But the Lord said, he said, I come that you may have life and life more abundantly. He also said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Hallelujah. And I just thank and praise God for him being in my life. Make him your life. Make him your life. I don't care if you do fall. I don't care. Get back up. Repent. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? And you know you got an issue. Keep coming to him with it. You know, don't ever let the devil make you be afraid to come to God because you didn't, did this sin over and over again. And he going, you know, he, he, he going to get tired of me coming to him about it. No, that's God. You know, God said what we are to forgive 77 times 7. We are to forgive. Over, he, he forgives us. If God tell us to forgive, he's a forgiving God. That's why also it's important for us to forgive and not hold grudges against one another. But let it go. Let them things go. Not for them, for you. So you could be free. So you can hear from God. Because the prayers of the righteous avail of much. And if your prayers ain't righteous, you ain't being heard. And it ain't going to avail of much. It's not going to go forth. Avail of means to go forth. They're going to avail, avail of much. 
Okay, God is going to hear you when you pray. But if you hold grudges and unforgiveness and you got all this bitter and strife and anger and envy in your heart, you want to get somebody back so bad. That's where that scripture come in. Like I was talking about vengeance is mindset. The Lord, I will repay. Let him do that. Don't mess around and get yourself in trouble. It's like, you know, our father, we doing things and, and we don't like some of our brother and sister did too. And God said, well, come and tell me about it. We don't take the matters into our own hand as we do our little children. What you going to do when your little child uh, hits his brother or, or her, her brother or her sister? You know what I'm saying? And take the matters. What you going to do when, when that brother or sister knock that sibling upside their head? What we going to say as parents? Why don't you come and tell me? I'm the parent. It ain't for you to put your hands on her. It ain't for you to put your hands on her. Why don't you come and tell me? That's how God is. Come and tell me. I told you to give it to me. I told you to cast all your cares upon me. And I will give you rest. Cast your cares upon me. For I careth. And he will take care of the situation. Yes, he will. And I don't know how I end up over there. But I'm just letting y'all know. I, that was just on my heart to tell y'all. And I just... I don't know. It's just a, it, it, was, it just enlightened me when I was praying. I was like, you know, it just came to me like the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. And if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And I just want y'all to know that I love the Lord. And I'm not saying this for show, but I love the Lord with all my heart and all my mind and all my soul. I do. And I try my best. Even when I wake up, you know, I'm late for service. It was like, I remember times when I was like, I only got an hour to get ready. Forget it. I'll go next Sunday. But it's like this drive that's down on the inside of me. Like, forget it. Whatever I can get. I'm late for service, but I'm getting dressed. I'm going anyway. Whether I'm, whether I get 30 minutes to serve, I don't care what I'm, I got to get something. I'm going to get something up out of it. If I get there and they're having a prayer line and the preaching is over, well, oh, well, I'm getting in the prayer line. I'm trying to get what I, and I'm going to do better next week. I'm going to do better, Lord. Lord, get, put, put us in us to do better. Help us, Lord. Help us be right. Help us do right, Lord God. Ask God for some, some, some do right. Put some do right down on the inside of you. That's how God is. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. It was on my heart heavy. And uh, I hope y'all was um, inspired by what I said. Because I'm telling you, for God to drop that down in my spirit, it really inspired me. And I just want y'all to be encouraged and just know that the best policy with God is honesty. Is honesty. So, whenever you're having a problem, don't be afraid to go to God. Don't care how many times you didn't bump your head up in the same situation. I don't care how many times you may um, went to that job and went off on that coworker, or you feeling some type of way about your spouse or you didn't get up out the bed with that man you shouldn't be with or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Just keep coming to God and asking him to help you get it right. And I just want y'all to be encouraged. And y'all have a blessed day or a blessed night, I must say. And peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.